Hello everybody, welcome to lesson number one, Beginner Tutorials for Microsoft Word. In this tutorial, I'm going to be reviewing how to open a new document, to open an existing document, work on page layouts, editing functions, and some shortcuts on our keyboard. There will be no project that accompanies this tutorial, however, it just gives us some review and it also gives us some practice with editing functions and page layouts and such that can get us started to move on towards the more advanced um, different lessons that Microsoft Word will be offering you in this series of tutorials. I'd like us to open up Microsoft Word. Each computer is going to be different depending on where your Microsoft Word is located. If you're working on the school computer, you will find the W for Microsoft Word 2003 to 2007. That's the edition of Word. The one I'm going to be teaching you in this tutorial is Microsoft Word 2010. And eventually this is going to be the model that we're going to be using in the update. So it is a little bit more advanced than the one at school. But if many of you have Microsoft Word 2010 at home, this will be very useful. The same functions uh, they coincide with the 2003-2007 version as this version, though just the toolbars will be a little bit different, but I'll, I'll try to go back and forth and explain that to you as we go. So please go ahead and open up Microsoft Word 2010 or 2003 to 2007, whichever you have, and you're going to come up to a blank screen. The first thing I like to do um, is I want to just quickly show you different ways to get to this new document. Sometimes we open up a document from an existing document. So let's say that I had a document open from yesterday that I created for my class and I want to write from that screen move to a new screen. So what I would do is I would go to File, New. And you're going to see there's many, many templates that Microsoft Word has to offer. We're simply just going to click on blank template two times, double click it, and now we have a new screen. So if the screen I was in prior to, again, was something that I've already worked on another day and I wanted to open a new screen, this is how I would do it. Another way I could open up a document is if I click up in my toolbar, you're going to see a blank piece of paper. If you click that, that'll take you to yet another screen for a new document. And as you can see, my cursor is uh, still clicked on this blank paper. You see that it says new, control N. Whenever you see parentheses and you see control N or control S, that's an editing function on your keyboard. So what I'd like you to try to do right now is click control N on your keyboard, hold them down same time, it will bring you to a new document. Again, a little trick as I go through this tutorial, you'll notice different functions that you can do right from your keyboard. You can use your mouse in the toolbar or you can simply click on your keyboard. So now that we have our document open, I'd like for us to save it. There are many different um, ways we can save our document. We again can go File, Save As, when you save a document for the first time, you go to Save As. Okay, you, we need to name this document. Now you're going to see my documents library. I have folders and I have just documents. To tell the difference, a folder is yellow and it, you know, it has the symbol of a folder. And the regular documents just have a W and that just means that there's no folder for these documents. Personally, I like to organize my documents as I go. So if you see, I have a teaching 2012-2013 folder already made. So that means that this document that I'm going to be practicing with, let's just uh, hypothetically say that this is going to be a teaching document 2012-2013. And I'm going to name it Practice practice file, okay, because this is where I'm going to be just teaching you some uh, basic functions. I'm going to click save, and now at the top of my screen it says practice file. Again, you'll always know what document you're working on based on the title. I want to bring you back to that file. Now if I wanted to open this document, okay, and I open up Microsoft Word, instead of going to file new, I go to file open. And you're going to see that my teaching 2012-2013 is available at the top of my screen. And there are two files here, a practice file, and I had another practice file uh, for reading theme one. If I wanted to open up my practice file, I'd click on practice file, and I'd click open. It brought me back to the screen. Now, what, another way I can save for the first time is I can click this little disk up in the toolbar and click it. 
Okay, now that I've already named the file, this disk just means that I keep saving as I go. If I had not put a name on my file and I click that disk, it would bring me to that Save As menu. So I'm just going to open up another file just to show you what I mean. If I click this disk, notice there's no name at the top, and I click that disk, it brings me to the Save As menu. Again, I look for my teaching file. And if you don't want it in a teaching file, if let's say you want it in Ramapo grad file, you would click this folder and it would bring you there. So now that I'm in teaching 2012-2013, I'm going to name this practice file 2. And click save, and now I have another document open for practice file 2. Now that I've done this, uh, I'm going to go back open to my practice file, just the first one that I started. And um, now that we've covered saving, a rule of thumb, though, before I move on, is that every five minutes or so, save your file. Oftentimes, we get working, we create this great document, the power goes out, there's um, an error that pops up on our screen that, you know, deletes everything, and all the work that you've just done is now gone. Once it's gone, it's gone. There's no way to retrieve it. So always save. Rule of thumb, save, save, save. Next thing we're going to work on uh, is just choosing a page layout. Whenever you start a document, you'll have an idea of what you want to make, whether it be a portrait style or a landscape style. Let me show you the difference. Page layout, if I go to page layout, which is also in my toolbar, I, I will always be referencing uh, up in my toolbar. Page layout, if we go to orientation, it shows you portrait is up and down, landscape is uh, horizontal going across. Let's try clicking landscape. If I click landscape, notice that my document stretches. Okay, and as I type, when I print out uh, my document, it will come out horizontally versus portrait style. So if I'm, uh, and I can go back to portrait if I want it, it all depends on what project you're working on. So that's all we have to do for page layout. Finally, I want to review with you editing functions. Okay, and again, if I want to you're going to often hear cutting, copying, pasting. You can right-click on your mouse. I want to go through some practice with you, and I'd like you to practice along with me as we go. If I click inside my document, and I look for my cursor that's blinking, I am going to type a sentence, I teach at Paradise Knoll School. Okay, and you can type really whatever sentence you'd like at this point. Now that I've typed my sentence, there are things that I can do with this sentence. I can copy it, I can cut it, and I can paste it. Copying means if you have a large amount of text that you don't want to keep typing, say you're preparing something for your students, and it's one sentence and you want every student to have this one sentence, instead of typing, I teach at Paradise No School, I teach at Paradise No School, we can, we can make this uh, much faster. If I highlight... I drag my highlighting over my text. It's blue. Okay, I can do one of two things. I can come up to my toolbar and I can copy. Okay, and you'll look at, the, you can see the symbol. There's two pieces of paper next to each other that are identical. That means that we're copying it. Once I've clicked copy, I click out of the highlight. Okay, I click past the period. And I might hit enter on my keyboard twice. To paste it, I come back back up to my toolbar and I click paste. There it is again. Now I want to paste it again. I click enter and I click paste, 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 paste. Now if I want to create spaces, I move my cursor past the period, click enter. Again, I keep on doing that throughout the entire document. Okay, now that I've pasted, I can also cut some of these sentences. How do I do that? Well, if I wanted to highlight three sentences, okay, I can drag, and I'm just on my left part of the mouse, okay, it's highlighted, I can click backspace on my keyboard, it's gone. Okay, another thing I can do, if I bring that back just to show you, I can highlight, and I can cut from my toolbar. I can cut it out. Okay, there it is, gone. And now I still have some sentences left, but nonetheless, I've cut my text.
oftentimes when I'm cutting something, I might um, simply just backspace on my keyboard. It really is your preference. Now, if I want to cut this sentence, let's pretend that I had, let's say, I want to type, I am a first grade teacher. If I want to move this sentence, and I want to move this sentence to the top, I can highlight it, I can cut it, and maybe I want to move my text. So I maybe put my cursor at the beginning of the sentence and I move it down, and I click my mouse to the top, and I click paste. Now my sentence that was previously at the bottom is at the top. I don't have to retype it. I don't have to move anything. All I had to do was cut and paste. That's the function. And of course, if I want to move this sentence back up, I can just move my cursor before the I and backspace it up as far as I want. Those are the basic editing functions. Cut, copy, paste. Now, let's take these same sentences and let's practice using our, mount, um, our right click, okay, you can use the toolbar. If I wanted to copy this sentence, I'm a first grade teacher, I can highlight it. If I right click my mouse, it brings me to a smaller toolbar of options of menus, and I see that it's copy. Copy is there. I might want to copy the sentence right underneath it, and it's there. I can also cut the sentence by right clicking if I highlight. I don't want that sentence, I can right click and cut. Maybe I want to move it past this sentence, I teach at Paradise Snow School. I can paste it right underneath. Now you're probably noticing that I am, when I copy and paste, I am not right click, let's say, right click copy, when I go to paste, you're seeing that I'm not using the paste in the toolbar and you're not seeing that I'm right clicking and pasting. What I'm doing is using a function on the keyboard that I just do automatically now. I don't even think of using my toolbar because I know the shortcuts on the, on the monitor, um, excuse me, on the keyboard. So let's just quickly go back and review. Cut, copy, paste can be done in our, in our toolbar. It can be done by right clicking. What I want to do now is show you the functions using the keyboard. If I want to take this sentence, I am a first grade teacher, and highlight it, and I want to copy it, what I'm going to do is I am going to, on my keyboard, hold control, and I'm going to click C at the same time. What I've just done is copy that sentence. So if you hold control and C down, it highlights that it, um, excuse me, it copies that sentence. I want to copy that sentence underneath here. Now, now that it's copied, I can also use another shortcut on my keyboard called Control V. Control V is the paste. Control C is copy. Control V is paste. I didn't need my right click. Some people are very uncomfortable with right clicking on the mouse. Some people, it, it's, uh, it takes us extra time to use the toolbar up at the top. So I used control C for copy, control V for paste. If I want to cut this sentence, I am a first grade teacher. I can highlight it and hit control X at the same time and it's gone. So. Now that we've learned editing functions using the toolbar and the shortcuts, I would like you to go ahead and just type a few sentences, maybe type two different types of sentences with two different uh, texts rather. And please practice right clicking, copying, pasting, using your toolbar as well as the editing functions. In uh, On the video menu, you'll see a uh, link for the PDF, which is a file that has these shortcuts. Please print them, use them as a reference. Pretty soon it will become second nature and it just makes typing and creating something much, much faster. Before we end, I would just simply like to also go over one other shortcut on your keyboard, which is Control S. Now that I've created some text on my document, we've already named the file practice file. We want to save. Like I told you, we always save. Control S saves everything we just did. Again, you hold the two keys down together, Control and S, and it saves. I will be asking you right now to go ahead and practice. 
please visit me for lesson number two um, in the next video, which we will be formatting text, inserting clip art and word art, and text alignment. When we will we will be creating some sort of project in this next video. Hope to see you then. Thank you. Bye bye.